Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today we're gonna reveal the secret auto color grading feature in Photoshop. You know what? It's already been there, but we have never used it that way. First thing we have to do is to create a curves adjustment layer. No, we are not doing the same old thing again. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now have a look at these three eyedropper tools. These are there to set the black point, the gray point, and the white point. And we talked about this in the previous video. But what if we change it? Yes, we can change it. So let's say you want the shadows to be a little bluish. So all you have to do, now this is crazy, just double click on this. Color picker will show up and it will say, target shadow color. All you need to do is to pick up a shadow color. So let's go ahead and choose a bluish color. Maybe this is fine, 230 hue is fine. Let's choose a saturation of, let's say we're gonna increase the saturation a little bit, you know maybe 52, something like that. Let's keep it in the middle for now. But as you can see, it's completely black because the brightness is zero. So let's go to B and choose the brightness of something darker. Maybe something like 22 works fine. Saturation, I think it's too much. We're gonna reduce the saturation to 42, that is great. So this color is the color for the shadows. Hit OK. Click Yes. Now. Let's pick the highlight color, double click on this one. And for the highlights, we can choose something yellowish in tone. So this yellow is fine. And I'm gonna choose a faded yellow, something like that. That is great. And hit OK. Yes. And double click on the midtones. And for the midtones, let's choose a brownish color. So go to hue, maybe let's go for, what about a little magenta to it? So if we choose this, this is fine. Saturation, let's keep the saturation fairly low. So let's increase it to the point where it's not too much. Maybe 37, 38 is great. And brightness, let's keep it in the middle. You know, middle is great. Once this is finalized, just hit OK. So we have set the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. So the highlight that we chose was for the highlights of the skin. Nowhere else, but for the highlights of the skin, we wanted a little bit yellowish tint to it. Okay, so just click on the brighter areas of the skin and that's it. Have a look at it, instantly color graded. We didn't want it for this area. It will get extremely dark, we don't want that. Just for the skin's highlights. So that way you can choose highlights for different areas. So we are targeting the skin in this one. This is great. Let's choose the shadows. Click on this eyedropper tool and click on a dark area. Here is fine. Have a look at it. Instantly it colors it. Wonderful. Try clicking on different areas and make sure the sample size is 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 not point sample. You might sample a noise or some pixel with an irregular color. So for this example, 5 by 5 is fine. And we will try clicking on different dark areas and this looks fine. And for the midtones, let's click on the midtones of the skin. So let's try this area, it's too blue. What if we try this? Wonderful, have a look at it so instantly. This is the before, this is the after. And you don't have to stop here. This is just a starting point for you to begin tweaking in. You can start tweaking into your heart's content, just go from here. And the best part is you can choose the colors of the highlights, midtones, and the shadows. And at the end, after you have done with all of this, just make sure to revert them back to normal. So you can double click on them and revert them back to black or gray and whatever, however you wanna keep it. You wanna keep it color, you can keep it different colors. You wanna keep it standard, black, white, and gray. You can do that as well, completely upon you. So that's how to use these three eyedroppers to even color grade, not just color correct. So that's all for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.